This is like four weeks of not shaving. <laughs> That's four weeks? <laughs> but also, didn't I uh, hear like you did an album uh, once was inspired, or was it a track inspired by Horizon? That will be the project I'm working on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another trailer react. This time with Jelle Dipmar, one of our composers. Welcome, Hi. man. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's awesome. You brought uh, like we ask every composer. We um, we ask them to bring one of their favorite trailers or games or movies. Um, what what did you bring for us? I did. Uh, of I brought the uh, latest trailer for Horizon Forbidden West. Oh wow! So, yeah. is there anything why you particularly picked this? I know it's of course a Dutch game company. Yeah, yeah. we are both Dutch. So, yeah. <laughs> is that is that how did any influence for you, or is it something else? Why this is particular a good track? I think it's like uh, the 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 interaction between music and visuals. It's really spot on with this trailer. Have you have you played the first one? I've played the first one. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think of that? The first one was a really good one. Um, only the uh, motion of the, the 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 motion capture of the faces could have been a little bit better. I think, I think like the, the 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 new things that I've seen, what they have done now, yeah. just blew me yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. I watched it at E3. I was. It, I think it was last year. The the, the first one or the, this one? No, the first trailer of Horizon for the West. What do, you, what do you think? Did you did you actually know that they were releasing this? How do you mean? <laughs> did, did you know that they were showcasing it sometimes? Like you have these leaks and you hear like people... Oh yeah, I knew they were going to do mm. this, yeah, I think. So, um, yeah, so this is Forbidden West. Yeah, Forbidden West, the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a little bit complicated. And they released a few trailers of these and you picked especially this one? Yeah. Uh, and is there a particular reason why it, like this one just hit home with you? Um, I think it's absolutely the editing uh, of the trailer because uh, one... Uh, you have to see for yourself because mm -hmm. I can explain now and then the okay, we'll, of, like we let's, just watch let's it. dive into it and then we are gonna go a little bit more in a, in yeah. a deep sense yeah, deep yeah. dive details and see uh, what we can find here yeah so let's go let's check it out <laughs> the land is dying. PlayStation Studios and the machines yeah. are out of control the booms Oh, the sound design always, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the parachute gameplay. Also, the, the transitions between yeah. those, it just works great. The backflippy <laughs> machinery, man. Lewis. This, I mean, this the, image the, is just... Here, the transition to a newer one. Slow mo's always. Ooh! <laughs> oh. That's quite a. Fun. Ooh! I actually was very curious what uh, happened to that sword <laughs> after she threw it. Oh, this is, um, this is a, a very short one. Like yeah, a, yeah, almost yeah. like a, a promo. Yeah. I mean, it's. Um, fast paced. Really fast paced. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that you like that. You, uh, I know yeah. how fast you are composing. You are yeah. one of the fastest. Uh, but then also quality-wise, like you have yeah. quality and like uh, the fast you are. If we ask to make like trailer music, yeah. is insane. Get so to the point. this this fits <laughs> your style. <laughs> it really fits my style. It's like just get to the point quickly and then move on, basically. What, what do you think? If you look at like the images going by, like they use this great transitions, of course, yeah. it's like this digital world that is also kind of gameplay, yeah. kind of the user interface. Yeah, yeah. They blend this kind of with uh, great fades. How do you think they did it with the video and the music? I think with basically what is right now with trailers, you have the impacts on the transitions and I think they absolutely nailed that one. Because when you have the transitions, you hear a really big impact. I really, really like that as well. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, they stay kind of true to the whole atmosphere of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, because they need to sell this very fast, like it's a very short paced trailer, yeah. almost like a promo, showing some gameplay, showing a little bit of their. You have ambition. to be epic with that. If you have such a small trailer or short trailer, then you need to go epic. With longer trailers, around one to f two minutes, you can have a, a, a smaller section or what uh, more. Um, ambient section in the beginning and then you work your way up and with these kinds of trailers that are just very very short you need to be on point directly so what do you think if you work on something similar to this so you have these trailers you can tell a little bit of the story like the traditional two and a 
half minute trailer. You have the setup, you have the conflict, you have the resolution or somewhat of a resolution yeah. leaving you hanging. This is kind of right to the moment. So you're into it and it's like, whoa, okay. It's kind of like blows you away from the beginning. Yeah. Do you particularly have a, um, a preference in this? You mean composing wise? Yeah, composing wise. Composing, you do yeah. something similar. Uh, well, no, I don't do anything similar like this because uh, I most of the time make music for television, but I also make for you guys for a trailer. Uh, but that's most of the time aimed to trailers that are a bit longer than this one. Uh, but I just chose this trailer because it was like it, it spoke uh, to me very. Uh, uh, Damn, I hate translating Dutch to English. <laughs> no, no problem, it's all good. <laughs> no, I just think it's... Uh, it spoke to you. It's, it really spoke to me. And yeah, but also, word. you told me something nice. Like, there was like uh, something going, you knew something, you had some people in this field yeah, and yeah, working yeah, on yeah. something similar. I'm not sure what I can tell here. <laughs> I'm currently working with uh, uh, one of the musicians that uh, was part of the uh, score of... Horizon for Midwest. A totally separate project, but uh, maybe it was nice. It's really nice to work with a musician that is so professional. Like, so this is yeah. not Niels van der Lees or yours the man. No, it's just a musician. It's a musician okay. that played a, a pivotal role in this. Uh, yeah, you can't say who. I can't say okay. who. <laughs> but um, uh, it's, it's just a separate project. I just work uh, uh, with this musician on an album for uh, Warner Chapel Production Music in awesome. Germany. So uh, I'm really excited how that one takes form, basically. Um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, I can't wait also to, to see what this game will bring. But, but I, also, actually. didn't I uh, hear like you did an album uh, once was inspired, or was it a track inspired by Horizon? That will be the project I'm working on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, is it, there's something that I already heard and you're gonna continue on this? Or I'm, is going something to conti new? I'm going to continue on that. It will be a oh, full man. album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, uh, oh, I, I'm very it's not I, I'm, I have to say, it's not inspired by Horizon. It's more, um, more like the, the, I mean, you have the Viking kind of stuff, the Viking sound and that kind of stuff. So it's a blend between Viking, medieval, tribal with synthesizer elements. So it's it's completely different than Horizon, the project I'm working on, but it's you, you could say in a similar trend, but not that similar. So, sound palette wise, sound like you have like and organic and yeah. technology and that combination yeah. sounds like it I mean, would be a great fit. I mean, right now I'm, I'm when experimenting with my sound, uh, my personal sound when I'm composing, I really tend to combine organic elements with synthesizers or. Um, I mean, I have a, a couple of composers who say, who say with, with sample libraries, when you have, mm -hmm. for example, Spitfire Audio, that kind of stuff, they uh, say we need to be careful because of the copyright system of YouTube that they mm -hmm. can really get problems with that. The, the thing I do when I have a loop, for example, is just put it through an amplifier, uh, tweak the hell out of it, and no one will hear it was you that sample. <laughs> you can't refer back to the original, yeah. where the sound was recorded, yeah. original I mean, maker. I <laughs> mean, this is partly also what music is. You take something what you are really inspired by and make it your own. They say, right, uh, the, um, the book of words is kind of, uh, every book is a remix of the book of words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that with music as well? <laughs> I mean, with music it's, it's as well, because, um, you see, with a multitude of genres, they took inspiration from um, one genre and yeah. made a completely other genre around it. I, I don't have the example right now, but there are countless of genres that just take one idea from one genre and implement it into their own. Yeah. So I, I have music to say, samples is the same thing. To refer back to uh, Horizon, I think they made such a cool and, and, and new concept here, and yeah. especially coming from Dutch grounds. Yeah, uh, it's really, it's really it's something really impressive. To be proud of. It's really impressive. Yeah. I mean, well, not the number one game of PlayStation right now. I, I think so. with like it's a gorilla. I, I yeah, I think actually it's a system seller yeah. now at this point. I think so. Yeah, I mean, together with Naughty as, Dog, I, th I guess. Like especially they're... on the PlayStation Five, I'm really curious to see how they will push the boundaries of game. Do you, sure. do you get the PlayStation Five already? Funny enough, like we were running a music studio and a game studio. I don't have a commercial PlayStation uh -oh. Five. I do have the dev kits though. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I managed to, I uh, was really lucky about that one, to get the PlayStation 5. Yeah. Fortunately. The I first can year it came out. So I presume you're going to play Horizon. The absolutely. New one. Absolutely. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for uh, for watching. I think uh, we, we dove a little bit into and touch base on what we thought of this, uh, this promo trailer, a little teaser almost. Um, if you like these things, we're going to react a lot more on, uh, on the composers, uh, with composers on the on trailers that we like. And make sure if you like this to subscribe and, uh, and follow us. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.